We are standing here in the community of Migdal Oz, and I am right in the synagogue in Migdal Oz. Now, Migdal Oz is a very unique community. It is a kibbutz. Now, many people, when they think of kibbutz, they think of socialism, they think even of atheism. But in Israel, there's something called a religious kibbutz. And Migdal Oz is a religious kibbutz. And what that means is that, yes, there is an element of socialism here in that all the members of community pool their incomes into one pool, and then everybody receives some level of income or allowance depending on what they need. But on the other hand, the center of this community is the synagogue. In the secular kibbutz, the center was typically the, the meeting room or the dining room, but on a religious kibbutz, the center is the synagogue, and in fact, the synagogue is always at the highest point of the community, which is where we are here. Now, Migdal Oz is a lovely community. It's actually not very old. It was founded in 1977, 10 years after the Six-Day War. Now, it's located here in Gush Etzion, which is an area, where, actually the first area to be settled after the miraculous Six-Day War. The first community settled here was Kfar Etzion, and that was settled just a few weeks after the war was over in 1967. So this community was established 10 years later. There's only 70 families here, not even 500 people. They have a wonderful dairy farm. They have all kinds of other agricultural and industrial enterprises. Everybody works together. Some of the people work out of the kibbutz. Uh, some people are rabbis and teachers. Some people are doctors and lawyers. They go to where they go to work. They come back to the community. They pool their income in the community, and they all live together. It really is a lovely, lovely community. Now, at CFYC, we have been involved here in Migdalos for many, many years. We've helped them with their children. The children, by the way, is one of their best resource. I mean, there's lots of children here, and we've helped them over the years with their um, daycare centers and with their youth centers, and more recently, we've been helping them with their security, because Migdal Oz is located very close to a fairly hostile Arab village, and in fact, not even a year ago, a young boy was murdered, a young boy who lived in Ofra, his name was Dvir Sorek. He was murdered right here at the entrance to Migdal Oz. Now, just one more thing about Migdal Oz that I have to mention because it's something that I'm personally connected to. Here is an amazing Bible school for women. And I come here and study every single week. And for those of you who may have heard some of my Bible lessons over the year, I can tell you that my Bible learning has come from here, from Migdal Oz, more than from any other place. This is Migdal Oz, and I hope you'll join us here one day soon. Welcome to Gush Etzion. We're right here in the center of the Etzion block of Gush Etzion. Uh, and uh, when I say the center, I really mean the center because we have Efrat to our north, we have Kibbutz Migdal Oz a little bit to our east, we have uh, the shopping center uh, and Kfar Etzion, the original Yishuvim of the original communities of Gush Etzion to our west, we have communities to our south, we have communities to our north, we're right here in the center. But folks, until 2014, these fields here and these hills here, right in the center of Gush Etzion, were absolutely barren. There's some Arab villages uh, just on the other side of this hill, uh, and they had used this area as a garbage dump. Uh, as a drug den also, apparently. Uh, it was not a pretty place sitting here right in the middle of Gush Etzion. And as many of you are aware, there, there, we, we run into a lot of opposition when we want to develop parts of the land of Israel. We run into opposition from our own government often, feeling the pressure from Europe and the United States not to develop land in Gush Etzion. Unfortunately, as it often happens, it took a terrible tragedy here in 2014 to be able to develop this land here right in the middle of Gush Etzion. Uh, many of you will remember summer of 2014, June 12th specifically, 2014, three Jewish Israeli high school students uh, on their way home uh, from school uh, were kid well disappeared. We found out later they were kidnapped and murdered. The three were Gilad Sher, Naftali Frankel, and Eyal Yifrach. 
teenagers on their way home from school. Uh, they disappeared. They didn't come home. The entire country was mobilized searching for them. Uh, for three weeks, we all were searching for them, especially here in this area where they disappeared from. Uh, and in fact, what was the operation or the, the campaign to look for them called? Operation My Brother's Keeper. Uh, from the biblical term, I'm on my brother's keeper. Yes, we are our brother's keeper here. And when the three boys go missing, uh, the entire country is mobilized. Thousands of soldiers are here in the hills, thousands of volunteers here in the hills looking for them. Unfortunately, three weeks later, at the end of June 2014, their bodies were found. They had been kidnapped uh, by uh, Arab residents of the area here down near Hebron, just a little to the south of us, uh, and of the villages uh, just to the west of us here. Uh, they were kidnapped and murdered shortly after uh, they had been kidnapped back on June 12th. And the question then becomes, how do we respond? Some people in the world might respond by rioting through the, uh, through their, through the, the Arab neighborhoods. But we're not that kind of country, we're not that kind of society. And we want to have a constructive and positive uh, reaction uh, uh, to this horrible crime, terror, murder uh, of the three teenagers. And what better way? Uh, than to remember them, than to build parts of Eretz Israel, to build part of the lands of Israel. Uh, and here we see, right here in the middle of Gush Etzion, you might be able to hear the traffic behind. Uh, we're at the major intersection that connects the over 24 Jewish communities in this region here. Um, the decision was, let's, let's go and clean this area up. And the initial thought was, let's set up a Jewish neighborhood here on the hill overlooking the central intersection. Unfortunately, that was not permitted for all sorts of political reasons, so we did the next best thing. Uh, thousands of volunteers spent the summer, the fall, and then of 2014, and then the winter of 2015, and the work is still going on today to take this barren hilltop and turn it into a magnificent nature reserve, which is what it is today. Today it is the Oz Vigaon Nature Reserve. Oz means strength. We're just down the road from Kibbutz Migdal Oz, uh, where Sandra explained to us how, about how it's a religious kibbutz. Migdal Oz means tower of strength. Oz Vigaon means strength and pride. Gaon, pride in the positive sense. The pride of Jacob, Gaon Yaakov. It's also the acronym Gimel for Gilad. Uh, Gimel for Gilad. Uh, and uh, Gaon, uh, Eyal, the Aleph, and Nun for Naphtali, the three boys' names are, are put into the name as well here. Oz, the Gaon, strength and pride. Remember the three boys who were murdered, kidnapped and murdered by our Arab neighbors here, unfortunately. And in their memory, we have redeemed part of the land of Israel uh, and created a magnificent nature reserve and study center that takes place here now at uh, what had been formerly uh, a barren uh, and desolate hilltop in here in Gush Etzion. I hope you enjoyed that video. And we'd like to be sure you're getting all of our video content. So just click on the subscribe button below as well as on the notification bell. And that way you will have easy access to all our material. We look forward to staying in touch with you. God bless you and have a wonderful day.